Everybody, welcome back to our liberal arts seminar, Managing Culture. Today is uh, March 10th, and we have the class folders material with lots of details in here. And uh, we are going through week one and week two. We're talking about many different um, cultural differences. And so inside here, uh, last week, we identified there's four different groups and three different videos. I would like to hear from uh, group number one. Who was the member of group number one? Here. Okay, can your group number one leader talk to us about what is the general idea of video number one? Group number one, we're waiting to hear from you. Group number one, you uh, had what, four or five people in your group, right? How many people were in your group? I am group one. How many people? were uh, in your group five five i think of five okay uh there's five people if you can remember your teammate your group mate's name please call them out your group is supposed to talk about video number one what is video number one talking about mm. the asian seems to see a lot of contest parts and the western side seems to be individual parts i think good yes that is the that, that's correct so this is the picture of uh one video if it will slowly open we can skip this anyway this was video number three talking about two million minutes comparison between education in North America, in East Asia, and in India. That was uh, video number three. Uh, as you can see here, this is video number two is talking about cross-cultural and Asian management uh, cultural differences between East thinking and West thinking. So can you, uh, do you have any PPT that you would like to share or any details you'd like to share about this? Anything especially interesting that your group found in this video? It's 42, 43 minutes. So we don't want to take 43 minutes in class to watch the whole video. What part of the video was most interesting um, for this is group two, but uh, also in group one, this uh, here is the, the video that is uh, group one was talking about. So group one, can you tell us about this? Group one, we're waiting to hear from you. There's five people in the group. Um, I'd like to hear from you about what did you find interesting in this video? What should the class look at so we don't look through 45 minutes of the full video? Uh, my interesting part is ducks. Okay. Blue ducks and wood ducks. Western, Eastern things different. Great. So do you remember where that is in the video? Um, wait a minute. Seven minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit close to it. Um, can everybody see my screen now? Uh, the next question is, can everybody hear my screen? So uh, group five, can you tell me, can you hear this? Yes. 
Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Great. So we're going to watch this for about one or two minutes. Um, and group number one, what is this talking about? Um, <laughs> I am a Canadian, and that looks like firewood to me. Are you talking about how it's super cold in Canada now, and you're laughing at me because I need extra trees and firewood to make my house warm? <laughs> is that what the video is talking about? What is this video talking about? Why are we looking at this wood? Western side is, seems focused on shape, but Eastern focused on materials, what made these stuffs. Um, Great. Great. So yes. um, thank you. This is Im Mingyu. Uh, yes. <laughs> I saw that you're talking. Great. Now, for the rest of the class, <laughs> Im Mingyu, you are the group one boss. You can get your teammates to oh, add God. some comments about this soon. And yeah. <laughs> next, we're going to have group number two must do the same thing talking about video number two. Then group number three needs to talk about video number three, which is the two million minutes. And then group four, you can add some information. And so each group leader send text messages back and forth like crazy <laughs> to your team members and make sure your team members are ready to say what is interesting or what is shocking or what is uh, new and uh, what did you learn from this. To help you understand, uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, CCC. I think the CCC is, is on for this now. Um, it's saying that people in Korea think and you see things different than people in USA. And people in all of North America... It's Apple, eat an apple, you know. Well, okay, so uh, we've started to talk about the details. That's good. Uh, I want to make sure that we just introduce the idea of the videos to start with, and then we're going to get into groups and talk a little bit about more details. Uh, hopefully everyone in class has been able to uh, see at least some part of these videos. So um, we have already introduced DAX. Soon you can talk about what are DAX or what, how do you see DAX versus how somebody in another country sees DAX. So thank you for that. Now it's time for group number two. Who was in group number two? I'm here. Me, sir. Great, your turn to tell me a little bit more about your uh, video. Um, our video tell us about the difference between the Western thing perspective and Eastern thing perspective. Great, uh, for example, I have a uh, very boring white skin that makes me look like a dead ghost. <laughs> you have nice tan skin. Is that what we're talking about? Yep. Really? Your video is talking about just skin color? Oh, no, no, not at all. So what is interesting about your video? Can you give me a specific detail? And uh, what we're talking about now is a perfect example. You said just general uh, difference in culture between East and West. And so I understood, okay, you're talking about my skin color versus your skin color. But your intention is very different. So in class, as often as possible, as much as possible, try to be as specific as possible. So just using these videos as an example, what is a specific example that you like in this video? Um, in the video, eight minutes, the moment of eight minutes, that was impressive to me, so. So at eight minute mark, uh, yeah. okay, we're coming up to that right now. Um, would, you, would you like to tell the class what we're going to see? Um, the mo this moment is, uh, this thing is the people, you know, uh, people make many mistakes about like the 
moment we are going to see. So, yeah. Okay, so it's talking about mistakes. Great. I love making mistakes. I make a hell of a lot of mistakes. So uh, even how I'm talking, maybe my language is a mistake for being a professor in a university. So um, it would be good to see what are the differences between how people uh, try things and make mistakes. So we'll start focusing on the eight minute mark. Here we are. For example, that <laughs> um, so Kim Jisoo, you are are you the leader of group two? No, no. Who was the who is in group two? I am. Okay. Uh, yes, Chun Hayden, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about this uh, video? What what are we watching? What is uh, very interesting for you? Or what do you think is going to be interesting for the class? Um, um, my interesting part is um, Western parents give their children um, to choice. Um, for example, breakfast menu. I but... love that example. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that's the best part. <laughs> um, but that, that's not here. That's at a different area. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, I should be quiet. Um, you're, you're supposed, somebody in class, isn't it your job? Who's the class president? You're supposed to tell me to be quiet and shut up, old man. <laughs> go ahead. Keep going, Miss Chun. Um, Eastern parents, um, um, they um, have been thinking about their children. Um, and they, they choose that um, they can do the best for their children. Yeah. My, are are you say okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm supposed to be quiet, but I can't be quiet. I want some student to help me. I think she just said that Canadian mothers don't care about their kids. What do I uh, want no. to eat for breakfast? I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> uh, are no. you saying that, that Korean mothers care about kids eating, but Canadian mothers don't? You don't like my mother? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Um, so try mother. to be specific. The whole purpose today is two things. One, try to be as specific as possible, or I'm going to attack you. <laughs> if you hate my mother, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> Number two, try to talk about um, what we're learning in this video. So just talk about anything interesting that the class can learn from, but the first lesson is most important. Try to be as specific as possible, or I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> and I want somebody in class. How about Kim? Jae Kyung, which group are you in? I'm in group two. You're in group two. Oh, okay, I'm going to attack you too. You need to help talk about these details. Um, and then somebody else, I'm going to find some student from group four. You have to help me attack somebody. If somebody says something about uh asian mothers like their children and western mothers are different help me say okay you think my mother is bad what do you mean oh no <laughs> so, no no so group group number four you need to help me with these discussion okay who is in group four uh moon take are you group four yes i am sir all right, that's your job. You need to help me attack somebody if they're too general and they insult somebody in a Western country like France or Germany, England, USA, or Canada. <laughs> Pretend uh -huh. you and I are both brothers from Toronto, Canada, okay? If somebody yes. makes your mother look bad, you have to help me attack them. <laughs> so one more time. Kim, Jae Kyung, and Jung, Yoo Jung, you're both group, four, group two, right? Or, or John Hayden, sorry, you are our group two. Try to tell us one more time what is good <laughs> about this video. What are we going to look at? Um, Western parents um, are more respect to children's own choice. <laughs> Hey, um, I'm in Korea uh, now. Are you saying uh, that if I'm a parent in Korea, I'm bad? <laughs> um, 
good good try you're you're saying western parents care more about their children so that yeah. that means eastern parents don't <laughs> uh, no no um that, that's why more... kim jaekyung is such a bad terrible student because her mother is terrible <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? Kim Jae-kyung, you're supposed to help your group members. <laughs> Time to try to fix the details. Uh, the video is just one example of a lesson, but the main lesson is talking about being specific, communicating specifically. So only Western parents care about their kids, huh? <laughs> Um, um, I think Western children is, um, more terrible, bad, uh, no, 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 <laughs> more drug dealers, <laughs> more independent, independent. Okay. Oh, uh, because, because they, they have decided for a long time from, um, their childhood. Um, but Eastern, Eastern child uh, don't, so they less independent. Um. Okay, all right, thank you. We're getting there. So uh, I'm going to talk more about this video number two. And you see on my screen here at the bottom, it says culture differences, East West video number two. We're going to come back to that. I love what you guys are saying. Uh, Chun Hayden and Kim Jae Young, <laughs> thank you very much. I love what you're doing, but uh, Moon Tae Kyun and I, our job is to keep attacking you. <laughs> so um, you guys plan to present this soon. Um, but first, <laughs> since I've already started to give you headache, let's go to group number three. Who is in group number three? I'm in group three, sir. Okay, so we see on my computer screen now that we've gone through the first uh, about 15 slides, and now um, the story about DAX is on slide number 18. Then we talk in the PPT about another culture difference. Here's another culture difference, another culture difference, smart culture. Here's tech culture difference. Um, more about tech culture. This is big data, the culture of data. Then we talk about your culture. And this is more about your culture. This is you take this quiz and you will learn what is your culture. This is more about your culture. This is talking about global culture. And then we talk about there's many different parts of culture. There's many types of culture, cultural dimensions. Uh, we talk about that. And then there's many different cultural dimensions. And then we get into what culture is. Culture is complicated. And I'm using culture. Everybody today, we must play a game how cultures can be complex. So I want <laughs> Chun Hedian and Moon Take Yun to be fighting. I want to see blood. <laughs> I want to see you guys argue about how cultures are complex and and try to make a game about how when somebody says something about culture it can be misunderstood by somebody else so the activity today is learn how to be very specific and then after we we are going to do that all class and for the rest of the semester i want fighting and blood every class uh today Although we focus on being specific, the other focus is what is culture? And so I'm teaching that now. Culture is pretty simple. Culture is values and values are attitudes. Attitudes make behavior and your behavior makes culture. So it goes in a circle that you see here. So this can be old people is different than young people. Uh, Canadian people could be different than Korean people. High-tech people can be different than people that just love and live with frogs and no cell phones. 
uh, and wh whoever is the student that's going to do marketing for the frogs and fish farms in Africa, maybe your value and attitude and behavior is different than somebody that's focused on uh, high-tech robotics and uh, the internet of things or machine learning and artificial intelligence. All of those show there are different cultures. Um, so we're going to be talking about that today. The idea that culture consists of values, beliefs, attitudes uh, in a group. It's largely shaped by leadership. Uh, core values are in action. Uh, there are differences in risk. There's differences in how you manage your family, like choosing breakfast cereal. Was it Chun Head In? You want to talk to our class about the idea of how Canadian mothers choose breakfast versus how Korean mothers choose breakfast, right? That's You're going to talk to us about that, right? So Chun yeah. Hedin and your group, you get ready to find the video part about that and make one or two sentences to teach us what you're trying to say and get ready because I'm going to try to attack you together with group four. <laughs> get ready. Um, and to help you, the biggest thing I'm trying to teach today is this slide. So although this is culture, culture can be anything. There's many different cultures. There are big problems in culture though. So your self-reliance or self-reference criterion and ethnocentrism or parochialism, these are all problems and I'm trying to teach you about these <laughs> so I can't attack you easily so that you can work with people from other cultures easier. Let's start, and I will define parochialism. Parochialism is all babies. Babies are good and beautiful, right? But at the same time, babies are terrible little devils. Why? Babies can be bad. I'm joking, kind of. Babies can be bad because they only know one way. The baby only knows what the mother says. And if she sees some other mother from a different country saying something different, the baby will think that other mother is strange or the other mother is bad. And that baby that is parochial, the parochialism will think other people are bad. They don't understand there is another way. They only understand one way mother said, this is good but the other people do differently, so they're bad. Understand? The baby only knows one way, and anything different is bad. But ethnocentrism is what you get now. You guys are not supposed to be bad, <laughs> but you're still devils, <laughs> because you learn there are different cultures. You learn there's Canadian culture, that's Canadian freak Eskimos and Inuits living in ice and snow and their brain is frozen, that's why their mothers are bad with food. <laughs> um, but you know there's other cultures, but you still don't understand the other culture and you don't appreciate or understand why the other culture does things. So you still think you know other mothers are different, but you only appreciate your own, and so you respect your culture, and you think still almost the same as parochialism, other cultures are just strange and probably not developed or they're bad. Understand? So you're born and you only know one way. And then you get education, and you go to university, and you study with Professor Sean Watts, and you become ethnocentric. You learn there's another culture. But you're still bad because every other culture you don't understand for sure. You don't understand why. And so you still think it's strange or bad. Who is an example of somebody that's famous with ethnocentrism? Adolf Hitler. Chun head in. <laughs> um, are you a strong yes. lady? Can I make jokes with you a little bit? Yes, it's okay. Is your father Adolf Hitler? Oh is your, no. Is your uncle related to Adolf Hitler? Are you ethnocentric? Do you think your culture is the best and every other culture should die? Oh no. <laughs> so, you uh if you don't understand 
why Canadian cultures do something and you still think your way is normal, the other way is strange, that is like Adolf Hitler, that is ethnocentric. So you need to try to understand why Canadians <laughs> are strange. Maybe their brain is frozen, <laughs> too much snow and ice. Or after you appreciate why it's different, then you become global and open-minded. Understand? Everybody yes. in class, everybody in class has this SRC. Everybody has the reference. You rely on self-reference criterion, or it's also called self-reliance criteria. You rely on yourself, your experience, and your education. That is what you rely on to make decisions. So yourself is the criteria to decide. And because you don't know the other culture, you make mistakes. So everybody that has an education, you make mistakes because you know only what you know. This is getting deep. This is getting complicated. I hope somebody, maybe somebody in group four or somebody in class can repeat and simplify what I'm going to say. Most people have self-reference criterion, so you know what you know, <laughs> but you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Do you understand? So you make mistakes. You need to know <laughs> that other ways are okay, even if you don't know them. <laughs> Can somebody try to repeat that? Because that's really confusing. What the heck did I just say? Anybody? We need to know what we don't know. Great, I understand. But what about somebody else in class? Let's pick somebody. Um, Kim Chehan. <laughs> what did we just say? Can you try to tell me what is either parochialism or what is ethnocentrism? Or can you tell me what is SRC? Kim Jae-hyun. Maybe Kim Jae-hyun is not in class. She's absent today. What about Jung Sung-jin? Are you in class? Yes. Can you explain what is parochialism or ethnocentrism or SRC? Um, well, SRC is, I think what you're saying is we know only what we see. So we have to uh, widen our perspectives. Perfect. And see other cultures. Perfect. Yes. So you must know that although there's 50 million people in Korea, yes. that's super small. That's almost nothing compared to 8 billion people in the world. And almost everybody in Korea is about 98, 99% exactly the same thinking. But almost everybody outside of Korea, 7.99 billion people think differently. And so you must know there are many different ways of thinking and they're not bad. They're just different. Yes, that is the idea we're talking about today. Something about you know what you know and you don't know what you don't know because of self-reference and self-reliance criteria. Thank you very much for teaching that. Uh, I hope we have two or three more students ask questions because we need to understand this for our class. Um, but overall, we're teaching what is culture. But most importantly, we're trying to understand how to be very specific. So... Um, Group number two, you were going to go through and not just talk about, as you can see on my slide, there's, this is examples of cultures. This is examples of cultures. This is examples of cultures. Uh, there's more examples of culture differences and mistakes. Here is examples of um, understanding cultures and, and deeper. This is an example with culture. People usually only think of small things like the literature or etiquette or religion, um, but they don't think about how people solve problems. 
sometimes your method of problem solving is different in Korea than Canada. How mothers solve breakfast decision problems is different in Canada than in Korea. That sentence I just gave. Hopefully, people in group two can repeat it <laughs> because what I said can't be attacked. It doesn't make anybody feel bad. It's just a fact. And it's good for Canadians and it's good for Korean mothers. But the people in group number two, <laughs> you so far, you hate Canadian mothers, right? Or when you're trying to make Canadian mothers look good, you hate Can Korean mothers. <laughs> so be careful when you're talking about that. And here's the example. In the video, these are some examples that we talk about. And here's more examples of how people think differently. Here's more examples of how people think differently. Here's more examples. And this is the example that group two, uh, was it Miss Chun? Was this the image that you loved? The culture difference video part two. Some mothers think about these top cereal boxes many different cereal boxes, but in East Asia, the mother just says, here, you little baby, eat this and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this what you were talking about? This is the part of the video? Yeah. So great. Everybody can see on the screen, this is the PPT. Everybody has this PPT. Did you know that some PPT, there's notes in the bottom? I'm going to hide those. You can look for them later. But there's also this box and it shows you the links to the details. So when we're talking about food in video, uh, Miss John and Miss Kim, uh, the good part starts at 1909, 19 minutes and nine seconds. And it goes through until 24 minutes and 27 seconds, all talking about how Canadian mothers are crazy about food. <laughs> so that's just one aspect you guys can teach that what about group number three who's in group number three i'm in group three so great mr e chang hyun uh yeah. you're the uh one of the class leaders i think i'm going to make you manage everybody is that right yeah particularly okay great mr leader um what was your third video about and if you are very observant you can actually see it right now but uh, ahead, you, you tell me what is group three video about i think most of the videos were trying to say about cultural differences and my video was talking about the differences about education between east and west and they're focusing in the education of high school Good. and what students think about the education. Great. The Eastern, can I talk more? Yep, go ahead. <laughs> keep talking and keep telling me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eastern high school students doesn't, I think, doesn't really think that education is important and some of the students who oh, think that whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh i think somebody in group four uh was it moon take you is it your job to help attack people did we just hear he said eastern people don't care about education no absolutely you said? Not, sir. <laughs> absolutely not sir so he's drunk, right? I can't believe the class leader showed up to class and he must be drunk or, oh, no, no, maybe he's from Canada. And because Canada thinks it's okay to smoke marijuana, maybe he's a Canadian guy in Toronto, Canada, like us, and he's just high on marijuana. Are you stoned, Mr. Lee? <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Eastern parents don't care about education? Remember, no, we I have mean, to try to be specific. I was trying to say that parents wants their kids to be well educated because uh yeah it's important they think it's important but the education system isn't that good because oh oh no no the video said like that the video said like that how about i help you would you like me to help you a little bit yeah, you're talking and when you're talking you're just using words everybody is just listening to you and we are looking at group two video PPT. 
did you have any pictures or do you have anything uh, like writing or words to help the other people from a different culture understand? Because if you only use words, it's very easy to misunderstand and make mistakes. But if you use words, talking and writing, it's easier to understand. And if you use pictures, pictures are worth a thousand words. So if you have a PPT or a video, it's a lot easier for people to understand what you're saying and you have less mistakes. Do you know of, do you have a PPT or anything? I wanted to prepare some things like that, but Actually, the videos were like all, only about the words and statics. So, hey, come on, you undergraduate students, what is on the slide right now? Oh my <laughs> god, we just caught him. Group four attacked this guy. Everybody in group four, we went through the PPT, all I don't know, 3,000 ppt slides <laughs> and we we remembered everything and we saw professor watts loves us he already made a ppt slide teaching about video three right here so go ahead mr lee continue talking about what what does this slide say continue explaining what is video three about yeah just the difference about education between east and west Okay, so what what what's the point? What does this say? Mm. I don't understand. Five thousand five hundred and eighty three thousand two hundred what? People taking marijuana from Canadians? <laughs> Canadian people in ah, oh, that's what it is. Canadian people that came from Toronto using drugs and went to China, but. Canadian people, only 400,000 people from Canada using drugs went to India. <laughs> Is that what it's saying? Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> what, what's um, the time they're studying in high school. Yes. Yeah. Who else is in your group? Uh, Kim Chehan, are you, which group number are you in? Yeah. Uh, group number four. You're in group number four? Yeah. Okay. So do you understand we're talking about taking drugs? <laughs> or <laughs> are you are do you understand we're talking about what what did this uh crazy guy, Mr. Lee, say about education? What, what is this five hundred thousand five hundred and eighty-three thousand two hundred compared to US is three hundred and two thousand four hundred? What, what's he talking about? Do you know? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I good, don't know. Mr. Lee. Give, give Mr. Lee a good question, a specific question. You need to ask a question to somebody in group three because soon I'm going to ask Kim Jaehyun to summarize video three <laughs> ask them a question so you know <laughs> what uh it could be a simple question tell me about video number three what is video number three any question is good go ahead mr lee who else is in your group who can help explain what is this video about i forgot my member <laughs> Who else is in group number three? Me, sir. Great, Yi Donghyun. Uh, is that right? Yes. Your turn to get attacked. <laughs> We're going to jump on your head. What is your video about? Uh, this video talk about the culture difference in education. And this video talk about three countries uh, India, China, US. So, India and Chinese students uh, very study hard because they motivate. I uh, motivate from hunger, and desire. <laughs> Come on, group number four. I see so many signs to attack. It what kind of attack, sir? What kind of attack? Yeah. I think he just said people in China 
uh, have problems with education because they're hungry. <laughs> uh, does that does that mean that I people think, in in Canada have uh, have education problems because they're fat and they eat McDonald's too much? <laughs> what what is he talking about hunger? I mean the desire for the educations. I think. Good, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, group number three. <laughs> I think he wants to say that there are differences because of they have difference, a uh, different environment, and that the different environment motivates them differently. Uh huh. Yeah. So what? What's your point? How so, like, are they motivated differently? Mm, <laughs> so the, uh, one, yeah, one of the example for yes, high school student was she is motivated because not to um, disappoint their parents, and China and India students were motivated because of their environment, and that environment is like just all studying hard. Okay, it's a little bit hard to attack you for that, but I, I don't understand. <laughs> so I mean, like China and India students like all study hard and like, and because of that, they're motivated not to be a loser kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so so American <laughs> students are motivated to be a loser? What? Hey, I'm your teacher. Are you calling your teacher a loser? Because <laughs> I was educated in North America? <laughs> oh my God. I know somebody that's going to fail. <laughs> Just joking, joking. Maybe I should give you bonus points for saying that. If you remind me later, I'll give you small bonus points for saying <laughs> I, I'm a loser. I love it. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. So uh, who's ready to talk now? Is somebody in group one or somebody in group two or somebody in group uh, three, are you ready to show your video? Uh, I think we were talking about food. Yeah, is Who was in group two? I, you want to start talking about the food details? Um, no. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't want to talk. I scared you too much. <laughs> what about your group members? What is your video talking about? Um. I think it's saying here that your food is being discussed at 19 minutes and 09. So 1909. Where are we here? So if we jump for up to 1909, let's listen to, to this just for a short time. And after we listen to this, how much more time do we have in class? Who's the class have, time we, manager? We have three minutes left. Oh, two minutes left, sir. Oh, the class is going to finish soon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So everybody in class, um, you know this is your PPT, and this is on slide 81. And you know that the crazy professor that's taking maybe too much marijuana, as Canadians do, how many slides did this crazy, uh, <laughs> what is it? The class leader said he has a loser education or something like that. Uh, he gave 210 slides Oh my God, no wonder he's a crazy uh, education guy. Um, so there's lots of crazy examples we're talking about. Next class, we're going to go through and we could talk about avoiding cultural mistakes. That is on slide 102. And here is examples of culture difference, slide 97, 98, 99, many examples of cultural difference. Slide 93, 94 shows what some cultures look like, what Canadian and US culture, how it's different from Denmark culture, how it's different than China culture and, and Korea culture and Japanese culture. Um, and more specifically, slide number 83, that talks about, as we can see it here, the video number three. And we can use these uh, many Google and YouTube links to, to talk about this. 
but all of the videos are explained in here. This is our class outline. If we go to week number two, you can see video one, video two, video three, it's here. We will be uh, going through this and we'll talk about this next class. I'm going to show you this and ask you, what is this? And for group number two, video number two, this video talking about food, as you can see here, is discussed at 19, 19 minutes and nine seconds up until 24 minutes and 27 seconds. So if you go through the video and fast forward to 1907, as you can see on my screen, you will see what we're gonna talk about. And next class, I will put you into groups and I want to see blood. <laughs> I want to see fighting and arguing. I want to see you practice making statements, teaching something about the video, but use very specific words to avoid getting a bloody nose. <laughs> Good thing we're online learning. And the, the whole purpose is when you go through the, the class, at the end of the semester, you're going to specialize in this, what is your favorite color? Mr. Lee, I've, I've attacked you quite a bit. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. So um, I'm going to take... Maybe this. indigo blue. Indigo blue. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Canadian. I just know blue is blue. I'm a guy. Uh, does that look better? So light blue here, <laughs> you like? So in class, if you learn to be very specific, it's easier to get a job. It's easier for people to think you're really intelligent. If you know just a little bit about many things, you're a generalist and you're the same as high school students anywhere. More and more companies want to hire somebody that's very good about some details. Companies want to hire specialists. So if you try to become specific in one area, it's easier to get a job. So do that. Try to become specific with your words, especially talking about this video. There's many class videos. All of our class videos, they're already recorded. You can see them. Go to the uh, Facebook channel, sorry, not Facebook, YouTube channel, Professor Watts, and you can see many videos that we have. This is what we will talk about in groups next class. And we also have uh, this and where is, here is the video uh, talking about 2 million minutes. So you know what we need to do for next week, uh, not next week, next class. And when is the next class? Um, Kim Friday. Yes, on Friday. So um, next time we meet on Friday at 3 p.m. using this Zoom link. We will talk about these details. Any questions? Do you realize how I'm trying to use your class to teach you about managing culture? But much more important than culture, I don't care about my skin color and your skin color. Although my skin color sucks, I get too much sunburn and your skin color is much better. That's not important. What is important is how you are specific, how you communicate with specifics. If you are general, people can attack you, number one. And if you're general, some people might think you don't know details. So try to be as specific as possible when you're managing cultural details. That's what our class is about. Um, okay, so class is finished. Who wants to attack me? Who wants to ask me questions? Who wants me to help you develop details? Uh, okay, so uh, Yoon Songwon, thank you. <laughs> but our class is supposed to be in English. Uh, you should be writing the thank you very much in English, not just kam sam da using hangul. <laughs> thank you. Um, what about Cho Sebin? Any comments from you? Are you yes. ready? Are you ready to say one last thing about cultural differences? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Come on! I sent you a text message. I sent you a chat telling you, get ready, and you didn't get... Oh, I'm going to attack you next class. Oh, my God. It's going to be good. <laughs> Which group number are you in? Number uh, Group number two. 
Oh, good. Next video. I'm going to be talking to you <laughs> and everybody in the group. So um, great. Any other questions from class? You guys understand what our homework is. We understand what we're trying to learn. All right. I see that Kim Jisoo. <laughs> you don't understand what your homework is. I saw you, you shook your head. I, I, are you shaking your head because you're taking drugs? Or can you tell me what is your homework? Um, Tom project and weekly uh, topic PPT presentation. Two things, mainly two things. Okay, that is your homework for four months. Yeah, for all of March, April, May, June. Yeah, that's your homework. But what do you have to do for Friday at three o'clock? Um, we have to know the details about the videos Okay, I could say the title of the video is video title number one, video title number two, video number three, and I'm finished. Can you be more specific? So I'm group <laughs> two, so yeah. All right, to, there's another guy I get yeah. to attack. <laughs> I have to learn more about video two. Yeah, about um, Eastern Western, um, the difference between Eastern Western uh, seeing perspective Good, that's one aspect of our homework. What is the second aspect? Just learning how the culture is different. That is, um, that's one part of the assignment. But the second part we're gonna use for the rest of your life. We start with assignment number two. What, what, is, what is the second focus for Friday? Not about the video, but it's about something different with how you think. Understand? Yeah. Okay, what did I say? <laughs> what, what, is, what is it you're supposed to focus on? Um, I really, um, I don't have no idea. <laughs> so you said yes, but you mean yeah. no. All right. Maybe your part, I hear in many books, they say Japanese people, they always say yes, yes, yes. Even when they mean no, no, no. So maybe your part Japanese, huh? <laughs> so the first uh, most important is to learn how to be specific, how to ask a specific question and answer a specific way so you can't get attacked. Okay, okay. So what are we going to use as examples? When we're trying to learn to be specific, the first focus, the second focus is use the videos just as examples. So, be, so find something in the video, maybe it's educational, but talk about it using specifics. Prepare to talk about it using specifics. And maybe you can go into the other videos, like video number two, there's one, two, three, and many more videos. I can show you hundreds more videos just like this. Try to get ready to fight with somebody in class, <laughs> showing an example or talking about an example like this, here is an example, and then get somebody to describe it in a way that if you're not specific, it's gonna be a problem. Like Canadian parents give many cereal boxes, that's why Canadian kids are fat. <laughs> and Korean mothers only give a little bit of pop and vegetables and some dead fish. So that's why Korean kids are very healthy. <laughs> So learn to use the specific words and, you, and find some examples to talk about those specifics. Great, class is, is finished. Um, but like always, I arrive early, uh, the video starts early and the TAs are available and I can stay around late. So hopefully you guys can either hang up on me, you can stop the Zoom or ask me some questions. Um, so, so do we have any um, 